Yo, 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 yo. <coughs> it's go time, guys. Um, it's been raining overnight. The rain collector barrels are all full up. Which is not a bad thing. And we've got a plan for today. Um, I've got some sort of a, a messed up thing. I've got some, some virus at the moment. Um, where literally like to grip stuff, to lift stuff is agonising. So literally, mate, I'm taking a risk. My zombie fighting is not going to be that good. Just clicking a mouse is, you know, in real life is painful uh, to me. So it's um, it's a really, really messed up thing. Um, I'm sure it's just a virus, nothing more, you know, nothing more than that. Um, but it's a little bit worrying, you know, because like when you can't fucking pick up things which don't weigh much, you know, it does have you worrying a little bit. <sighs> so yeah, you know, like the old click, 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 click is not going to happen. So. These fools will have to be dealt with, you know, as best I can deal with them. And I know I, I know I want to ignore them, but hey, this is right near our house, man. Come on then, you can come as well, sir. Bang! Yeah, well, we don't like that. We're going to manage the situation. Yeah. Come on then. Yeah, look, Daddy Boy's worked it out. He's come through the middle, and that's why he has to die. Oh, I'm gonna go cheap. Go a little bit cheap there. Whoa, -ho 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 -ho. guys, you are hungry. Come on then, lass. You can come out and get smacked in the face. is always the chance of the axe dropping. Which I hope for, you know? Foundation makeup is not the same as an axe. Yeah, mate, I know you see me, come on. Heavy on the wrists, matey. Pistol, yeah, it's a start, but it's not really what we're looking for. I've got to be mindful of the crawlers as well, mate. They can kill you so easily. You know, you've been fighting here and there, you don't know what you've done. You've left someone half dead on the floor, and it comes back to bite you. So, the plan, apart from smashing this lady's face in, is to head down to our old stomping ground penners because we haven't been there. Oh, fuck you. We haven't been there in a while. That just shows we need some beta blockers because that field of vision thing is dangerous. Um, we haven't been there in a while and basically there might be wood glue there but it's doubtful. However, you know, maybe some skill books, some crops, even if it's just the sake of harvesting the crops and we don't even intend on eating them, it's still skill points, you know, raised. <coughs> Excuse me, Penners. That's the beer talking. That's all done now, we're on the port. So we're going to leg it back to our old our old joint. We haven't been there in ages now. And actually we're making two stops. We're going back to the halfway house um, which we've got you know the properly defended bit that we spent a bit of time on. I've got a lucky feeling about these three dullards that they might just drop something nice. We're gonna give it a go. Come on. Vitamins, was that it? Was that my lucky feeling? Hmm, okay. Yeah, there's two places we need to visit. There's our old, old house, the second floor. This, this long grass and these stuff. Normal hiking bag. Hmm. We did pick up a duffel bag from 
from our old joint there. Eat, eat all of it. Okay, yeah. So there's a couple of places to check out just to see if we've got any wood glue or anything like that, or any repair material for the axes, really, because at the moment that's my number one concern. Nails. We still need a lot of nails, but for me that's kind of secondary. How close are we to our joint? Because I don't like all these idiots here. There's a lot of them, isn't there? I think we're quite close. Fuck's sake. Yeah. My goodness. <laughs> you lot have been taking an unhealthy interest in me house. You know, I think it gets to the point in Zomboid where, you know, if it's not your primary stomping ground, you can't get too attached. And there's a lot of people here, and there's just a fast mob coming in. And I don't think we can get too... We're exerted. This is the thing that concerns me, mate. You don't, can't get too attached to it here, you know? We're so good at smashing people in with the axe that, you know, once we get back there, it's fine. The zombie situation, mate, I've got to say, is worrying. Very worrying. You know. I don't like... I've got to adjust, I don't like living like it. You know, in the odd versions of the game, I would systematically, you know, just fucking do them all in the park. Do all of them in the park. You know, even if it took me a while, it would get done. But this new generation of zombie, of zomboid, doesn't work like that. You've got to become migratory. But the problem for me is... Will it get to a point where there are so many zombies that they occupy every single tile in the game, you know? Was that just the stamping? Oh god. Yeah, this ain't good at all. Well, we've failed to go into one place because of the zombie population. We may fail to get into the other place. We've already failed to get into about five places because of the zombie population. Sneaking may be the only way to go. Sneaking might be the future. It's just very boring, mate. I don't want to put you through this. I don't want to have to go through the whole game doing this shit. Very, very regrettable. <sighs> Their behaviour is um, is concerning me. It's like they're. Uh, Normally what controls their movement it would be like gunshots or some sort of noise, windows breaking, but it just seems either it's random or there's in-game stuff happening that I can't hear, mate, that I'm not privy to. Afraid to move right now. Kitchen knife, out you come, mate.
fuck me. I don't want to have to just cower in our castle and farm for the rest of my life. I don't want to do that. I need to become better at rounding them up and all this shit. Drawing them away from places. It seems to be the only way to go. How many of these fucking assholes are there? Seriously. Not just here, everywhere. Every fucking where. And then I get exerted. And it's like nearly midday. And I've failed again to do anything. <sighs> this, I think, is our house. Going in there, fuck it. Right, I just saw some stuff. Oh, right, thank God for this. We've got some stuff up here, look. Build it. Build it. I don't like this. That's why we take these precautions, Penners. Yeah, that's why we take these precautions, mate. Let's be very quiet now. I'm well miffed, mate. Well miffed. I don't want to stamp on him. Well, I do. But I daren't. They're going to bust down my shitty little defences and they're going to get in and it's offensive oh, fuck it I think by knocking on that wood there which I didn't intend on doing at least we're rocking and rolling with a proper weapon We can do them in, that's no issue to me. Ah, oh, yes, baby. Thank you. That's all we needed. Right, just forgive me, guys, because I've got to let this out. Yeah, yeah! Now, we're going to smash their faces off. We're going to do them in the park. Right. Eat. I think you get more fucking value out of them just eating them raw. <sighs> Beta blockers. Right, let's go. Let's go teach these cunts a lesson. We're getting stuck. Come on then. Watch your slags. You want some? You want some? What's that Hudson from Aliens? I don't want to go out like Hudson though. What a legend. Fuck you. Another axe, anyone? Mate. 
you need to you can die. Is that it? Two bodies? Awesome earphones. Dismantle. Right, we can get back to what we were doing, mate. Let's have a little look. <sighs> we need to chill out as well. There's a chair in here. Look, let's rest. Let's rest up. Wasn't that good, mate? Wasn't that good? A bit of vengeance, eh? Chopperson style. I didn't want to do my yeah, yeah too loud. I tried to taper it a bit. I didn't want to scream into your ear and... I don't think my microphone's that good. Right, okay. Let's check the time. It's midday. At least we've managed to do something. We found an axe. You know, it's like a can of spinach to us, isn't it? We're back in our element. We've got another one here. It's been repaired three times, so it's not a brilliant one. We're going to leave these sort of... Excuse me, rambling bits and pieces here for emergencies, just as we've experienced. I mean, I know I didn't find the axe here, but we found the baseball bat, which led to the axe. It is worth. So I'm going to leave this one here. It's never been repaired, so it's good for a repair. So, ah, oh, what? You ca I can't leave it here. Okay, put it in the other side. We don't want to be too weighed down. You know what I mean? So we're going to put it in here. Let's make another salad, baby. We've probably got some canned goods down there as well. I would hope. Three and three, good number. Yeah. Eat all, but I say I shouldn't really be. Oh, okay, it's half and half there. That's fine, that's fine. I'm getting worked up for nothing. Yeah, don't tell me there are fuckers in here. Okay, yeah, great. This was, yeah, this was that good house, and they got loads of stuff in here, mate. This is really encouraging. We're going to leave it there. We're going to leave it there because we might need it later on, right? Let's check the book situation because, yeah, there it is, mate. There it is. Farming for intermediaries. We need that book, so we're taking it. That's good. It was worth coming back here, wasn't it? Oh, we've got loads of goodies in here as well. I mean, I know we got rotten stuff, but... Mate, we've got honey in there. Melted ice cream still good. It's not... Ah, oh, the vegetable soups. It's not a bad little place, look. Melted ice cream again. And we've got loads of canned shit. Wow! See, I'd forgotten about all of this. This is great. We probably just got drunk, didn't we? And we moved from one place to the other. We were drunk, so we couldn't remember. Mate, there's so much stuff here. That's that's really good. Yeah, we don't have to worry about food. I mean, we're farming anyway. We don't have to worry. We can probably just cop it sweet for a bit. You know what I mean? But we're not going to do that. In fact... Where was I keeping the maintenance bits and pieces? That's what we were interested in. Where are the maintenance bits? Here. Here, here, here. So we've got strawberry seeds, potato seeds. We'll keep this all in the same place. There's no point leaving it all here. A couple of water. Ah, yeah, yeah. We got that good wood glue. Yes, mate. Got the jar lid as well, we're going to take that. Have we got any jars? Garbage bags, let's keep all this in one spot. First aid kit, nice. Yeah, got some goodies here. Empty jar, we can start pickling stuff. Empty sandbag. It doesn't hurt to space out some stuff, you know what I mean? Like keep some stuff here. So like sandbag, garden spray can and a trowel in case, you know, things go terribly wrong up there. Maybe a second helicopter, something like that. Yeah, glue as well. We'll take the glue. Duct tape, yes. I think these are all items which can repair axes and whatnot. And right now we'll take anything. Okay. So if you missed the earlier episode, this is another one of my sort of... Um, one of the ideas that I have is... Um, Rather than just sheep rope down into death, I either build a little sort of, you know, sort of, what do you call it, like an airlock system, so you've got a door, 
and some, some crates. If you can't build doors, it's no problem. Just build crates and leave an opening and then build crates around it just so you've got some sort of protection. You don't want a sheep rope down, you know, into the arms of loads of zo loving zombies and, you know, get yourself chewed up a good one. So this is another one of my sort of precautionary measures which seems to work okay which is just a sort of a, a corridor down one way with a little bit facing out and you see a jutting out bit here so if the zombies like hear noise over here they're like they come towards here and they kind of like spaz out here and they you know can't get past the wall they start hammering on it like these dipshits coming up here and that's the premise and it seems to work you know just gives you allows you to come out and run get out of the way so you don't get trapped you don't get stranded Again, I don't know what these guys, uh, what kind of noise these guys have been attracted by, but I wasn't really making any noise. Okay, is that everybody? We're so much better off with the axe, I tell ya. Right, yeah, panic, that doesn't really matter. Come on then, knobbers. So you just like, it's almost like having a machine gun. When you're this good, like Dicky is with the axe, and that's not me as a, as a player, I'm not bragging here, because I'm not the best at fighting these things. That's having the axe man trait, you know, and investing skill points into the bladedness, you know, it's really useful, man. And that's just, that's a nice little bit of escapism when you're facing such ridiculousness from these zombies. And we're getting distracted again, we're really not sticking to the game plan, we're getting excited. And we're trying to teach people lessons. Uh, it's probably going to get us killed. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, get those crawlers out. Coax them out, penners. Don't let them get the drop on you, baby. I'll show you what to do with crawlers. Stamp on the backs of their spines and in a celebratory fashion if you can oh, I'm going to try the mouse wheel trick um, mate you I've got to give a shout out to my, why is my mouse wheel not working okay buddy I'm going to have to check that out I'm, you, I'm sure you're going to be watching um, yeah, I'm trying it mate, it's not working, so I guess that's that's my problem, that's my controls, my setup, I'll have to sort that out. Um, you're coming up to a break in the episode, I want to get one more done, you know. Um, we want to get, we're going to press on, move on, so um, I will check that out, and I will be right back with you guys in a moment. Yeah, peace and fucking, take it easy, bye -zy -zy.